started? Well, I want to uh, start out the first part of this with a non football related uh, uh, situation. It, just a very heavy heart for myself and a lot of our players and a lot of our uh, coaches right now. A young man who was a student assistant with, our, with us uh, in football passed away shortly before the game unexpectedly and uh, it's very tragic and uh, our thoughts and prayers are out to his family, Joe Bagwell. And uh, that was tough. I want to say thank you to all of our fans tonight because they were all in and uh, they came and they showed up and they did their job and they were outstanding and uh, that's what makes Auburn great. The football part of it, uh, it's very disappointing that uh, played, I guess, our second top 10 team and, and had uh, had chances to to win the game. We did we didn't we didn't finish, and uh, it's disappointing. But our goal every week is to improve. Uh, I saw a lot of improvement in our football team tonight, uh, in a lot of different ways. Give LSU a lot of credit. They're extremely talented and. Uh, extremely physical uh, football team and they're very good so it was a hard-fought battle and uh, we didn't come out on the right end of that and that's very disappointing to me and everybody in the locker room so we worked hard in preparation for the game and I couldn't be more proud of the players and the preparation that they put into the game uh, we went into the game fully expecting to win and it didn't didn't happen so uh, we're going to go back to work, continue to try to stay on track to improvement. And uh, we have this week off, which we're going to be able to rest up a little bit. Just try to, again, get a lot of corrections made uh, based on what we saw again tonight. Go back to work, uh, go back to work this week. But uh, I'm very proud of the kids in the locker room. And, um, you know, they played very, very hard tonight and they put it out there, and they were all in, too. So that's where we're at, and uh, that all open it up to some questions. Gene, I, obviously there's no moral victories, but how big of a step did you, do you feel the team took tonight? You know, I think that uh, if you just look at the whole entire body of work and how hard they played, and, and you know, it was a field position game, which we knew going in that it was going to be, and we knew that it had to be. and. You know, I, I mean, I think that, you know, it sums it up. I'm very proud of, you know, the effort they gave, the improvement they made. And, uh, you know, I just, I love the kids in the locker room. That's the bottom line, you know, and they, they block out all the distractions and they really try to work. I told you that this week. We had two really, really good days of practice and I felt really, really good going into the game. And, uh, but we didn't, we didn't finish it. And uh, there will be a day when we will. And we're going to continue to grind and work until we can. Can you talk about uh, Jonathan Wallace playing tonight? Well, uh, Jonathan has really uh, made a pretty consistent track in terms of improvement out of practice. And we like him. We like his poise. Uh, he's an extremely uh, intelligent young man when it comes to the game of football. He was very successful in high school uh, with his team. And he earned the right to play. Uh, that's about as simple as I can put it. And uh, he'll continue to earn the right to play some more. You know, he did some things tonight. Uh, it's tough getting in there for the first time in a game like this one and uh, being productive. I'm sure there's some things, obviously, that we'll look at tomorrow that he can, he can certainly improve on. But we figured that, you know, tonight was a good, a good time for a start with him. And uh, so I was very proud of him. He secured the ball. Uh, he made some tough yards when we needed him to, which was exciting to see. And we'll continue to work him. I don't know if you in the third quarter and he went in there, did it seem like the run defense opened up just a little bit when Ontario and Trey were able to find some running room? Well, I think so. I mean, you know, they're just, you know, it was an extremely difficult defensive line to run the ball inside on. We knew that going in. Uh, it's very few people have been able to do that. So, you know, uh, we felt like we had a good plan going in with some perimeter run, mixing up some of the inside runs as well. You know, we, we can't totally get away from that. And at some points in there, a couple of things, you know, opened up for us. And, uh, 
you know, again, uh, we want to keep the game close with field position and try to run the ball some and, you know, hit the ball down the field a few times on some passes and, and keep the game close. Uh, so we were able to open up some of those running lanes there to help us do that. The defense making some pretty big stops. Uh, just talk about their heart and uh, your defense. Well, I think that, uh, you know, I, I won't say, I won't just say our defensive heart. You know, I'm going to say the heart of our football team, period. Special teams, offense, defense. But, you know, there was one point in there where, you know, third downs are a big deal for us, obviously, and they've been a little bit of point of contention for us in the few first few games. And I think at one stretch in there, they, you know, they, they had quite a few third down stops in a row. And we're starting to gain a little confidence, and uh, that was really, really good to see. Uh, you know, they hit that one on us at the end of the game. You know, the throwback off the, off the boot there, and we missed the tackle, and, you know, that pretty much sealed the game, you know, for the most part, or at least, you know, want, you know got it down to the wire. And, uh, but again, I'm very proud that, you know, of our defensive strides that we've made. Um, do we have a long way to go? Absolutely. You, you know. some changes to the secondary, particularly with uh, Therese and uh, Florence playing tonight. Uh, can you discuss that and their performance? Well, again, you know, some of those are tied into substitution packages. So, you know, if we feel like, again, when certain guys come into the game, particularly in the secondary, I think that's where you see it most most often is, you know, if they have X amount of receivers in the game, then you bring X amount of DBs in the game. Uh, you know, uh, Therese's role was a little bit different when they brought in two tight ends tonight. Uh, he's, a, he's a physical, uh, you know, a physical corner. And so we threw him in there and, and, you know, he played quite a bit, you know, in that role. So, you know, you'll see guys going in and out just depending on their roles. And so that's that's what you saw with those guys tonight, including Enrique. When did you truly have any opportunities? opportunities? I mean, you had a, uh, a miss, miss play uh, on the first series, I think, uh, a long pass play. They had McCaleb wide open on a pass play early fourth quarter. On McCaleb on a kickoff return, maybe cuts the other way, he's gone. McCaleb, uh, somebody grabbing by the shirt and pulling him down on another breakaway. Uh, how, how much will that eat at you, those, those missed opportunities? Uh, you know, it's it's obviously you know something that you hope that when guys have opportunities to make plays with receivers that are open or guys that are in the open field, and you know you see the right cut, you make the right cut. Obviously, you know that's something that you know that we all uh, you know wish that they would see and do. But the reality of the game is it doesn't always work that way. But to say that it's going to eat at me, uh, you can't pin one game down on. You know, this guy not doing this and this guy not doing that. I'm not doing that. That was a team loss. That eats at me. But not the play of one particular guy on one particular, you know, one play. Jane, going back to Terese, when did he become a, a DB again and what went behind your decision on that? Well, we still played him on both sides. You know, and again, uh, when you have guys that, you know, have some limited roles on either side and you can, you know, do uh, just a few things with them, you know, then they can bounce back and forth at practice and get both of those done. So uh, this week the role fit. Uh, we knew it was going to be a situation where they were going to come in with two tight ends and make it a very physical perimeter game as well as an inside game, and he fit the bill. On your next to last possession, it was third down and 12. You ran a sort of a draw or whatever, hand up at the middle. What was your thinking on that play instead of passing? The thinking was that we were playing really good on third down, and the thinking was that there was – uh, if I remember correctly, I don't know, four and a half minutes left in the game, and it was all about field position because we had a, we needed a field goal to win it. And uh, our thought was to, you know, see if we could pop some type of inside run on them. Uh, they were dropping back in a coverage that allowed us to do that or at least gave us a shot to do it. What we didn't want to do was have any turnovers or anything that backed us up uh, with any negative plays. So it was a field position game at that point. I said it before and I'll say it again that if we have to put the game in the hands of our special teams, punting it and getting out and creating, you know, field position advantages, we will always do that. And then again, with our defense playing, uh, you know, well on third downs, uh, we thought that it would turn into a field position game, and and, and that's what uh, that's why we did it. Coach, you said that uh, Jonathan Wallace has earned the right to play. Does that mean and and maybe play more? Does that mean that you're going to? evaluate the quarterback position or are you just trying to find a spark there or well I just think there's some things that he did 
in high school that he's very efficient at. So some of the things that he did in high school uh, is really, you know, it's kind of like what we did with Kyle last year. You know, you bring these guys along, you give them a small package. They do, you know, they do, um, you know, they grow in the offense in terms of what they can and can't handle. Uh, but he's very comfortable with that because he's done it a lot. So that's, I wouldn't read anything more into that. Uh, he's, you know, he's gotten gotten better and he's improved in that part of the game. Take a few more. Gene, can you talk about Kyle's performance tonight? You know, I think Kyle did some nice things tonight. Uh, you know, there's no question about that. Uh, you know, there's going to be some, some throws that, you know, that he wishes he could take back, and we do too. Uh, but overall, uh, you know, I think that he did some, you know, he's improving. I mean, he's improving. And uh, you know, I think he's got to get back there and he's got to make decisions. He's got to get rid of that football. And especially when you're going against pass rushes like the one that we saw tonight and the ones that we're going to see a lot more of. Uh, but, uh, you know, again, he's on a journey. And that journey is going to include a lot of days where he's got to improve. And I think that's got to continue to be the case. Do you know about the decision for Scott to coach from the field today? Was kind of well, going into the game, um, you know, we just felt like, you know, this type of game, uh, It'd be good to have him down there so that we could, you know, certainly uh, be there with Kyle, look him in the eye, being able to go over what just happened and be one step ahead down there with him on the bench uh, with uh, what was going to happen next. And that combined with Jonathan Wallace being part of the game plan, uh, we thought that that was the right thing to do. Did Corey really respond tonight in the first half with his playmaking ability and really set the tempo for your whole defense, Lemonier? You know, I think that uh, I think he did some nice things. Uh, I think he really played hard. Uh, I think that was really, really good to see. And uh, he's going to have to continue to be, you know, a guy that steps up and, and can elevate, you know, can elevate the game of, of not just him, but you know, that's got to you know permeate through the rest of the defense. And so, you know, he made some he made some things happen early. And, um, you know, I think the quarterback felt some pressure from him early. Uh, and that's, you know, that's the idea. It doesn't always have to be a sack, you know. So uh, we'll look at the film tomorrow and really look and see exactly how well he played. But I know he played hard. How far down were you going to have to go on that final uh, possession to, to put Parkey out there? What, what was your target? Well, our target is, um, you know, he can make them from 50, but we feel really good hitting right around the 23-yard line. And we can get that thing from the 40. From the 40 in, we feel like it's pretty much, you know, uh, it's in our favor. All right, Coach, thank you.